Hello, Capricorns. <clears throat> I know I've been gone for a while, guys. I have been dealing with life, but I will try to be more consistent, definitely, and um, develop a, a schedule for my readings. So, this is your March reading. When I was pre shuffling before I actually turned the camera on, I saw the Eight of Wands. Well, I saw, yeah, I saw the Eight of Wands first, and then I saw the Four of Cups. So, it, it, it's feeling like a lot of you guys don't know whether to stay or go in a situation. Um, I, I, the Four of Cups makes me feel like you are kind of indifferent to a situation. It's not fulfilling, but it's not enough to make you just want to just drop everything and leave either. It's what I'm getting, okay. Let's see, what's going on around my Capricorns? Ten of Pentacles, this is a very stable situation. I feel like um, there's something that provides security in this situation for you. There may not be a lot of love in the situation, but it's definitely one that is secure and stable for you. Um, it could definitely be a home life or a job situation but when I saw the four of cups it makes me feel like um, this is more about a relationship for a lot of you maybe even a marriage where you're not totally fulfilled emotionally but it provides the stability that you guys uh, you need but every now and then you think about just dropping shit and just like checking up the deuces you know I'm out of this Virgo energy there. You do like that home life. Security. Money. Financial stability. What's crossing my Capricorns? Knight of Cups. You want to do something that you love. You want to be with somebody that you love. You want to be with somebody that sparks those emotions in you. Okay? Hmm. What is the underlying issue here for Capricorn? There's some Scorpio energy here. Underlying issue is Queen of Wands. It's not enough fire. It's not enough of an interest. Um, it, it doesn't fulfill you. There's something that you feel like you're lacking. That drive. That um, uh, something that makes you feel like you want to keep going. There's something in this relationship that is you feel like is tying you down, that's holding you back. There's not enough intimacy either. Maybe some of you guys feel it are feeling like you're lacking that um, sexual connection with someone. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. What was going on in the recent past for Capricorn? Three of Cups. I feel like some of you met someone in a social situation, um, whether it was going out with friends or getting together with family members, just some situation that was um, th that set this emotional um, situation off in you. And now it's like. It really makes you focus on just how much that your current situation is lacking the emotional, um, the emotional stability or the emotional uh, support that you need. The, something has brought to light what you're lacking in your current relationship. Something's happened. That's Cancer energy there. What's crowning my Capricorns? What's crowning Capricorns? Ace of Swords. There's something that you've realized. There's some truth. There's some truth that you've heard. There's some truth that you've come to. Some of you are feeling like you know what to do you know what the issue is you know what you want 
but at the core of your situation is the Ten of Pentacles. There's definitely a family that is important to you that is uh, really making you stay here in this situation because it's very important to you. That stability is very important to you. But around you, you have this water and you have this fire and you have this air. It's like, okay, my, my mind has been uh, awakened. My feelings have been awakened. My sexuality has been awakened by, by some outside influence. What's coming in for Capricorns? Eight of Cups. This is Piscean energy. This is walking away. Some of you guys are really like emotionally spent with your current situation. Eight of Cups is like, I'm over this. There's nothing left there for me emotionally and walking away. I don't see you physically walking away here because the Eight of Cups is all about your emotions. So removing yourself emotionally, removing your emotional investment from a situation. When I was pre-shuffling, I saw the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is actually moving, moving forward, moving on. And that is something that you fight with yourself over whether or not to physically leave because I feel like emotionally you've already left okay you're on your way there right now you're just not content but look at that five of Pentacles five of Pentacles this is you removing your time from the situation not investing Leaving. This is Taurus energy here. The Five of Pentacles. How is Capricorn viewing this situation? That one's sticking out. Six of Swords. You really want to leave on good terms. You want to be able to discuss what's actually happened and what it is that you want to do. You want to get along. You know that there's going to be some hurt feelings and, and some of the things that are discussed may, you know, be hurtful, but you want to be able to move on and move forward and not have any hard feelings. This is what you're doing right now. This is what you want as well. I feel like you are, you're treading lightly is what I feel like you're doing. Because you don't want to hurt someone. You want to be able to talk things out, work things out with this person. But I feel like, I feel like you're wanting to move on with somebody else, honestly. But you don't want to hurt somebody here because there is an investment here investment of years investment of finances there's a family dynamic here what is the influence here for Capricorn oh ten of swords just fell out Gemini energy I feel like there's almost a lure for you guys but I feel like for some of you and this is not going to um, be relevant for all of you but I'm feeling like you're walking into a situation where you're leaving one situation behind emotionally but it's also it's, it's almost like when you do that 
you're betraying yourself in a sense because there's something that's going on that you're walking towards that's not necessarily true so I feel like if there's somebody else involved here somebody is wearing a mask somebody's not being truthful and somebody's being deceptive Somebody's being deceptive in this situation. And I think this is like either you're deceiving yourself or you're walking towards somebody that um, has used deception to lure you. But tense are ending. So I feel like, you know, you're ending a relationship or wanting to end a relationship. But it also, if, if this is somebody luring you with deception, it's not going to take you long to figure out what they're doing. Okay? Mm -mm. Because I see you're very knowledgeable. You're very knowledgeable. And you really don't rely, look at this, you really don't rely on um, anyone else to tell you your truth. You look at a situation and, and you come to your own conclusion conclusions. You use your own discernment. That's the will of fortune here. This is karma at play. Karma's at play. Will of fortune is change. Okay. It's not necessarily something good, but a change is ensuing. Hopes or fears for Capricorn. Page of Pentacles. You want to explore. You want to do something different. You want to explore new opportunities, new things. I'm feeling like you guys want to be free. Seven of Wands there, that Leo energy. Defending your own principles. And standing by what you believe. I'm feeling like you guys feel like there's something better out there for you. Better suited for you. And then, look at that. The Wheel of Fortune comes up again. There's a shift going on in your life right now. And um, something's about to happen. With the Wheel of Fortune, what, comes, what goes up comes down and back around again. Okay, so if things are filling up right now, then there's going to be a shift and a change. If things are down right now, there's going to be a shift and a change. Okay. Changes in ceiling. So, you guys know what that is. You, you, you live in your own truth. But be sure that this is what you want to do. But I will tell you this. During this Mercury retrograde, I would not make any major decisions one way or the other until the planet, till Mercury comes out of retrograde. Okay? Because you may do something that you may regret. Okay, guys? So let me go ahead and pull the Wheel of Fortune of Sagittarius and Pisces energy. Let me go ahead and pull a Romance Angels card for you guys. Close out your reading. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay? So that is what I have for you. And I will be speaking with you guys soon. Namaste.